I remember, of course, all the speculation going into that game was if LSU wins, is Paul Skeen's going to pitch? Because he was only going to pitch on four days rest, which he hadn't done all year. And the players, as they're going through the line, high-fiving each other, I hear a lot of them saying, it's Skeen's day, it's Skeen's day, it's Skeen's day. <laughs> so I thought, well, I guess that's a, a clue that we're going to see Paul Skeen's in the next game on Thursday night. We're playing tomorrow. Got a lot else to say. Got the opportunity. That was one of the most anticipated matchups of the year because it was Paul Skeens, the best pitcher in the country, against Rhett Lauder, who's probably the second best pitcher in the country. Just a tremendous pitching duel between those two guys. Down, here's the 0-2. Bye-bye. That's a called strike three. 2-2 two -two from Skeens. Swing and miss. That's it, the new SEC single season record. Yep, he just chases that one. Thompson at the plate, and we head to the eighth here in Omaha, scoreless. And now there's runners on the corners. Wake Forest with the first real threat of either team tonight. Skeens, 0-1, looking to bunt down the first baseline. Morgan will get it. Up to get it to Malazzo. Tag applied. He's out of the hole. Trey Morgan sprinting down the first baseline. Gloved it. An option pitch to Malazzo standing at the plate. And Johnson is out. Let's go. What a play right there by Trey Morgan. Wow. And we've got free baseball. Scoreless after nine. Now the 2-2 delivery. Swing and a miss. We head to the bottom of the 11. And a base hit into left field off the mat of Dylan Cruz. Rocks and fires. There have been five walk-off hits by LSU in the College World Series. And two have been home runs. Tommy White's two-run homer in the 11th to defeat Wake Forest and the Tigers to the finals. And of course, Warren Morris' 1996 two-out, two-run homer in the bottom of the ninth inning to defeat Miami to win the national championship. Warren's home run was amazing for a lot of reasons, namely because he'd been injured most of the year. Even in Omaha, he wasn't at 100% until the morning of the game. Skip Bertman, our head coach at the time, of course, says that Warren told him the morning of the championship game, he said, Coach, I finally feel like I'm myself. I'm 100%. So Tim Lanier, our catcher, who had had a great College World Series, strikes out on just this nasty breaking pitch, just dips out of the strike zone. So on deck, Warren Morris is watching this and he's seeing that Morrison has that nasty slider. He's thinking, I'm probably gonna see a slider first pitch. So Warren's looking for it. First pitch, he's ready to swing. He said, I'm, he said, I'm not gonna be meek, I'm not gonna be timid, I'm, I'm gonna be aggressive. And of course, Morrison throws that slider. The strike by Morrison, the pitch. Swung on the hit the right field, that's way back there. Way back there. Oh, run! Oh, So, that's pretty hard to top. However, Tommy White to the plate. Cameron Manassi is ready to go. The right-hander facing the right-handed hitting Tommy White. Rocks and fires. Tommy White leads it high and deep to left field. Walks down to the wall. And the Walk it out. Tommy White. Tommy White down the third base line. Gets showered. We did that for God! We practiced it! We practiced it! We practiced it! Hey, hey, you guys got enough energy for two more? Oh, no!
never said this to the team, but for me, there was no path to winning the national championship without winning the game on Saturday night. And again, just as we did the previous few days, you needed somebody to really, really step up. And Ty Floyd's performance in game one is one of the greatest clutch performances I've ever seen. Field off the bat of Beloso, goes opposite field, Cruz now around third, throw not in time, and the Tigers are on the board. Another 3-2 pitch, this time Ty Floyd blows it by him. Another fastball up and in. Here's the pitch. Hey. Called strike three. Swing and a miss, strikeout number five for Ty Floyd. Kevin Dugas with his second home run here in Omaha. Here's the one-two pitch from Floyd, swing and a miss. And that is strikeout number 10, pitch to White. In the air to left field, going back. It's out of here! Tommy White ties the game! Another big home run by Tommy White. Now we're in a one-run game late in the game, where that's where we shine. The pitch. Swing and a miss! Going to chase it up and out! And Ty Floyd with strikeout number 17. Score. We head to the top of the 11th inning. Here's the 0-1 to Beloso. Hit high and deep to right field. Giving it a look is Shycoffer, and this baby's gone! Gay Beloso gives the Tigers a 4-3 lead! Even though the circumstances were as high leverage as they could be, it felt like us just doing our deal. With two outs, the pitch! Called straight three! Here in Omaha. Riley Cooper, just incredible, closes it out. And LSU wins game one and is one win away from a national championship. 